All right, we got some cream corn right there. Looks pretty good. Here we go. And this is a corn casserole we're making? Yes, this is whole kernel corn. Mm -hmm. You don't juice and all. Juice and all? Mm -hmm. what it, oh, is that supposed to make like the uh, the casserole a little mushy or something or soft? Oh, no. Just a little more, uh, yeah, texture. Oh, okay. Okay, we got our two. Then we take a cup of sour cream. Okay. Eight ounces. Nice. We're just putting it all in the bowl. Like that. Okay. Seems like a pretty easy it is, dish. It is, it is simple. And then you take your eggs, I guess? Two eggs, and you need to put them in a bowl and beat them. Okay. Why do you have to beat the eggs first? Why don't you beat them when you mix the, them into the thing? Uh, because the yolk and everything gets it's a better consistency. Uh, they look pretty well beaten. Awesome all awesome in there. there. Okay. okay, now we're going to stir this up. It looks good. It's a good consistency. Yes. It's like thick. Yeah. And then you got to add the butter. Stick of melted butter. Okay. Like that. Yes, that butter up. It's real juicy. What's now. the butter for? Just just for good old flavoring. Good old. So okay. Then you need. The you got your corn mix. Corn mix. You just dump it in there. Okay. Just mix it in there. I like that. Make sure you get it all out. Ooh, it's box. like clumpy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stir that up, and then you'll need two cups of cheese mm -hmm. to sprinkle on top. Oh, on top of the mix. finished product looks like. Take it, dump it in your mm -hmm. grease casserole dish. Nice. Looking good. All the goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just take two cups of. Sharp mm -hmm. cheddar cheese. Two cups, is that the whole bag pretty much or? Um, no. No, this is four cups. Oh, okay. But, you, know, you don't mind if you no, dump a I little more yeah. on it. I probably do put more. Oh yeah, that's, that's Of course looking, I love cheese. I do too, who but doesn't? You don't, you don't lose the whole bag on it though. coming up for your Eastern dinners. Oh my It'd gosh, that looks really good. Now bake it for 45 minutes. On 350? On 350. Okay, set our timer. Got 29 ounces of peaches with the juice. With the juice. I'm gonna pour that in a nine by 13 pan. That looks really good. Then additional 29, but without draining it. But those Okay, ones. so there's no juice in that second one. Right. Okay. First, okay. Then Ooh, why is that one more, it looks like an orange. It's just- um, Special? Flavors. Yeah, special. Three fourths teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. You're just gonna take the cinnamon. Just you ain't got any out yet. There no, it is. I don't want it takes just Ooh, a second. Oh, I sip. like that. You don't want it being all in one spot. Yeah, that looks good. So you got the cinnamon, three fourths teaspoon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you're going to take vanilla cake mix. Oh, I've never seen vanilla before. I hadn't either. That looks good. It smells good too. Mm. Take it. So it's kind of like a dump cake. Yeah, it is. It is a peach dump cake. Cake yes, powder. Yeah. So just spread that it's out. It's okay to use your hand. You use. Oh, your... Yes, my hands are very clean. So okay. yeah, I mean. Then you're gonna take three fourths cup of butter. All right. And drizzle it because there's no. You do not use a spoon on this. Not at all. Or a utensil. Nothing One at all. One pan. One pan. Four ingredients. What would you call this cake? A peach cake? Peach dump cake. Peach dump cake. Because all you're doing is dumping it in there. And you got the butter. Now it's ready for the oven. Oh, Three. we just put it in the oven? Put it in the oven. How long? 350 for about 45 minutes. We'll oh, check okay. it. You, you gotta dodge the pup. Yeah, let me let you open the... Okay, I can do that. Okay, and then we'll set our timer for 45 minutes. Show them, because the people, the people want to know what oh, the time is. Oh, set 45. Oh, we got our little and finger. Then we'll check it, yeah. Got a finger mark. For Meatball me. dinner tonight. So we got a pound of ground beef right here. You're gonna wanna separate it, mash it all up in a second once we add all of our ingredients. You're gonna throw in a half cup of yellow onion, a quarter cup of panko, of basil, <laughs> do a teaspoon of parsley, mm -hmm. Gotta be a little bit more careful than me. Just a little 
little shake. Teaspoon of oregano. This just gives it a good flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Then you are going to squeeze in a couple slices of lemon to, for taste. But if you like a little bit extra, you throw a little bit of extra in there. We got our meatballs done, looking good, and we got our potatoes. We lined a cast iron skillet with potatoes. So we're gonna place in our meatballs, and then we're gonna actually put a slice of potato in between them as well, and put some cheese, and then mm. finally some sauce. I think it definitely calls for two pounds of meat instead of one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. For sure. Or at least one and a half. All right, now we're gonna make our sauce. All right, you're gonna throw in two tablespoons of butter. Then you're gonna put in, after that melts, you're gonna let it melt for a little bit. Now, once the butter is melted, you're gonna put in four tablespoons of flour. stir that until it darkens. And so now you're gonna put in two cups of whole milk. And once those are in, you just keep stirring. So now you're gonna stir and all right, now we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. Mm. Once it's thickened up a little bit. And then you're gonna add some salt. Just a pinch. This is a pinch, however you like to taste. Same for pepper. Just a little pinch to taste. So while the sauce is uh, getting made, we got our all right, while our sauce is getting made, we're gonna put some mozzarella balls on there. Just spread them out. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're even. Right after we get that. All right, we're gonna put our red sauce on top of this. It's just one cup and it should go all across. All right, now we're gonna do our cream sauce all across it as well. Just take mm. your pot and pour all the way on top. Do we only use that little bit of marinara? Yeah, just one cup. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Make sure they're coated nice and well. Alright. Now we're gonna cover the Alright. Did you get all this no. sauce first? No. Do we need all of it? I think we're good. And I'm, and I'm videoing. All right. We're going to cover the entire thing with some shredded mozzarella. Mm. And if you're like me and love cheese, Just dump that whole feel bag free on to, that. yeah, exactly. Use it all. Can't go wrong with a little extra cheese. Mm -hmm. Get them arteries nice and flush. Mm -hmm. Mm. Good. Good. Like 
right, now we're gonna throw it in the oven. It's preheated to 350. Gotta do it right. All right. Looking good. All right, now we're gonna pop it in the oven at 350. For how long? 45 to an hour. 45 to an hour. Just keep an eye on it. Oh, buddy. Wow. This looks really good. I cannot wait to bite into this. Look at that crunch. Look at that crunch. Damn, how's it looking? Oh my! Ooh, it smells structures. It's still a bubbling too. Oh, Look at butter. that. That looks really good. Now we gotta get our taste tester. Where's he at? Ooh, we're getting some ice cream to go with it? Yes, vanilla ice cream. It's, this cake is, uh, they said, is best served warm. Oh, it is? So, yes, so. Oh, look, this is a cake or a cobbler? It's a dump, peach dump it, cake. It looks like that cobbler you make. It does of. look like peach cobbler almost. You ready to try this? Yes, sir. Okay, it even smells buttery. Look at that. It it's does look like a cobbler. It's supposed yeah. to be a little runny like that yes, or no? Yes, yes, yes it is. Oh, okay. Hopefully he don't burn his mouth. Well, make sure you put a little ice cream Let's with blow it. on it for a second. Blow on it. Gotta get him up. Use the ice cream if you should cool it off. That one has to be ate with a spoon. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd blow Ooh, on that. That's pretty hot. Yeah, I'd blow on that. It's too hot. <laughs> oh no, it's just really hot. <laughs> Tastes a lot like peach cobbler. Does what would it? you give it? 8.2. Okay. All right, let's see how it is. It smells so good. It smells really good. Wow. Look at it's that. It's a bubbling. Bubbling. We're going to add some fresh basil on top. Oh, yeah. Let's cut open to that thing. Mm -hmm. Let's scratch the pan. Mm. Mm, that looks delicious. Mm 